Based on my experience of uh, dealing with uh, business people out there, I believe that the biggest barrier, one of the biggest barriers to their success going forward is the debate going on in their own head. And until they rationalize out what their future journey is for themselves, then they can't travel that journey. I think it, uh, it's useful for everybody, but uh, more particularly, I suppose, for business people and professional people. Uh, but I think equally, if say for kids uh, and that kind of parents, there's a section on it, the earlier part of it, is very much about uh, how to, I suppose, manage kids and motivate kids and give them direction. And I think kids themselves could uh, pick up on a few of the nuggets in there. Well, I'm dealing with uh, business people out there every day, and my mission, my personal mission in life nowadays, is to try and positively influence as many business people as I can. There's a limit to the number of people I can physically get in front of, so I'm using the books as a means to get to a wider audience so that you know, I can share my experiences and the wisdom, I suppose, that I have picked up over the years from others uh, in order to encourage them to take the next step forward. Well, uh, I've been in business all my life. Uh, I come from a, a business background. Uh, my parents were in business, my grandparents were in business, so we're in business all our life. Uh, we've seen good times and bad times, I suppose, during that period. Uh, and being in the DNA, uh, we find that uh, you know, I have a big breadth of experience uh, that I've acquired. I've met and worked with lots of people along the way. And I think it's important in life to be able to share that back and to be a positive influence on others. Well, the original idea for the book was uh, to uh, isolate out and crystallize out a hundred well-known quotations and to give my interpretation of what those quotations were and uh, the meaningful advantage it would be to others. But when I got down to write the script, I found that I wasn't able to really keep it within the 100 uh, quotations. So the book finishes up with about 500 nuggets, some well known from other uh, uh, gurus out there, and about half of them are my own based on our own experience. And I'm trying to pull it all together as kind of a formula that will help others in their journey forward. There's a link between the three books in the sense of the first book we produced, You Are the Limiting Factor, it was very much a resource book and a guidebook, I suppose, to help people to run a business. Then the second book, titled Jack, uh, is very much a role model for people to follow. Jack was a good role model. And this book now is uh, encouraging people and daring people to take the next step. So they have the resource book and the how bit. They have a role model. Now they need to get going. The real link is that as we go through life, we are influenced by a lot of uh, different people that we meet and, and events and how we react to those. But in turn, we too become influencers on others. And uh, that's the role I'm trying to play, is that having gone through uh, you know, a very, fairly varied journey over the last uh, number of years, uh, I want to share and be influential on others on their journey. Nothing happens without doing something. And change always uh, starts with, uh, there's a trigger generally for change. Uh, Noel Tishi has a nice model in relation to management of change. And he talks about it being in three steps. Step one is what he calls a felt need to change. Now that felt need can either be positive or negative. Negative if it's ba something bad happens to somebody, or positive if somebody can see an opportunity down the road. So I would expect that this book uh, will be that uh, trigger in order to create a felt need in people to take the next step.
we're all victims of uh, the environment we've come through in one sense. Uh, and I think we're also the victim of, um, I suppose, the culture we came through, but also the bad advice we came, that we acquired over the period. And the formula that was embedded in all our heads as we grew up was to work hard, work long, sweat, and if you did all that, you'd be successful. Now, I believe that that's the wrong uh, advice, it's the wrong formula, and I think if we want to be more successful going forward, we have to be a little bit smarter, we have to stand back from ourselves and have a little bit more clarity and use the role models that are out there and the bits of advice that are out there. And I think the, this book it brings a lot of that together in a very user-friendly uh, type of environment. And, you know, the book in a way is the equivalent of me mentoring somebody, except that I won't always physically be in this, uh, physically there, but my influence hopefully will be there. Yeah, I remember that I grew up in West of Ireland and, uh, you know, my parents and teachers and all that, the, the, the only formula they knew at the time was work hard, work long, study, get a good job and you'll be okay for life. They didn't know any better. I think uh, it was as good advice as they could give at the time. But looking and experiencing uh, business over the last 50 odd years, uh, I believe that that's not the, uh, the good advice. Uh, I think uh, better advice is, and the people I come across that tend to be more successful commercially, are, you know, they're, they're not the guys who are digging the holes, they're the, the people who know how to make money out of the hole that's being dug. I think the, the change from the hard work to a smarter, reposition yourself strategically in the market uh, to come up the value chain uh, somewhat, uh, I think uh, the sooner we kind of understand that in life and the positive uh, and I suppose value added role that we can bring uh, to others, uh, then there's a commercial reality to that and there's a commercial business to be made within that kind of scenario. My personal mission in life, uh, at this stage in my life, is to try and influence uh, positively as many business people or business related people as I can, and uh, I'm using the books as a kind of a leverage to th get that out there. And, uh, you know, it's my, it's my special mission, personal mission, at this stage. The book will be obviously uh, can be available from our own site www.mriwex.ie uh, from a whole range of uh, bookstores around the country. Well, when I was putting the book together uh, into sections uh, at draft level, when I counted up the drafts, it was 47, not 50. Uh, and I decided uh, that I would stick with 47 for a number of reasons. Uh, the main one is my own father's, I can remember two of his birthdays. I can remember his 47th birthday and I can remember his 80th birthday. And I just thought there was some sort of a Norman in there in relation to it. Uh, our Lord uh, was reputed to, to have had 47 um, miracles. And the word 47 uh, comes up quite uh, a bit in, in history in, in relation to, to various activities. So when it turned out to be 47, I didn't set out to have 47, but when it turned out to be 47, I decided it was a good omen and, um, you know, we went with it. And the, if you look at the book, uh, it's, it, it kind of plots the whole cycle from birth to death and it just conveniently fell into 47 kind of sections of nuggets, yeah. There's actually over 500 nuggets in the book, but uh, they're in 47 different categories. I'm inviting people to come on a journey with me based on clarity of purpose, few and fueled by their passion. And I think the book will uh, generate and trigger passion in somebody, but not blinded passion, passion based on direction and purpose.
To benefit from this and the other nuggets within the book, please purchase a copy and read it at www.mriwex.ie or from any good bookstore.